Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. My name is the British Eagle, and today we are diving, flying, soaring into another episode of Chrono Trigger. And as you can see, we've got the crew here. We got Frog and Ayla on our team. Now, real quick, before we do anything in this episode, I do want to let you guys know we did some off-screen grinding and we equipped an item to my boy Chrono, which is like the wallet thing. Uh, let me pull that up really quick. So the workman's wallet, which turns EXP into gill or gold, whatever the heck it is, I still don't care. But either way, it's money. It, you guys know what I mean. So the workman's wallet, we equipped that to Chrono off screen. I did a ton of grinding. Again, the EXP turns into gold. So literally, I'm not over leveled. I'm still, I should still be at the same level as the last uh, episode. And um, yeah, we got a ton of money. Well, we spent it immediately because we ended up getting the Zen Mato. Um, we ended up getting the Radiant Plate. I think we got the Radiant Helm from the, the the shopkeeper in this, like, tree, plant, earthbound area. We got the Radiant Helm, Radiant Plate. Uh, we got Luminous Robe. I think we already had one of those. Um, I believe I purchased a Mega Blast. I don't actually remember what I got from him. I could just show you guys really quick. Um, so let me go to the top just to show you guys what we ended up purchasing, and then I would like to begin continuing in this episode progression of the story. So let me talk to this guy again. Let me see, what did he sell us? So we purchased the Zen Motto, the Comet Bow, that's what we got, the Mega Blaster, the Megaton Arm, the Radiant Blade I did not purchase because with the Masamune and the Hero Badge for crits, I just like it better for right now. I may come back and get this eventually, we'll see. Um, so those, we purchased all the weapons, then the accessories, the Radiant Helm, we purchased three of those, and then we got Radiant Plates for Chrono and Frog, and then Luminous Robe, we had one for Ayla. Um, the reason I didn't purchase more is because it, we don't typically have Luca and Marley in the team together at the same time, or at least we haven't lately, and we usually don't have Marley and Ayla at the same time, so because of the way we've kind of switched up the team, I figured if I want to give Luminous Robes to Marley and Luca, I can do that without spending 18,000 uh, gold. So anyway, let's go ahead and progress. Um, also, I know you guys said in the comments, and thank you so much for your support, I really appreciate it. In the comment section of the last episode, you guys mentioned how there is, if I backtrack, I can go now, but because of the pendant, I can go back to the previous worlds, uh, 600 AD and 1000 AD, and I can go ahead and unlock the uh, boxes. And while that is true, and that is cool, um, I don't want to do that yet. I would like to progress. I just spent all this money. By the way, these attacks look amazing. I'm very happy with these. So, um, But yeah, my, my point of where I was going with this is that um, I don't want to go back and get those items yet. I know the, the weapons and accessories and items I can get from the black boxes, the ones with those seals, I can unlock them with the pendant and get items, which is amazing. That's great. But I just spent all this time grinding off screen just to get these weapons, the radiant plate, the radiant helm, all that stuff. I really don't want to now backtrack again just to get more stuff like that. So... Maybe after this episode or the next one, maybe we'll do that. But for right now, I I think I'm going to stick with this for now. Um, I'll go bubble burst. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already subscribed. And uh, hope everyone's doing well on this Monday, right? Monday? Yeah, it should be a Monday. And um, yeah, we're going to see where the story takes us, what we do next, and uh, hopefully all these upgrades to our, our weapons and uh, armor and accessories should be good. I also did equip to Chrono the uh, recommended uh, accessory of the gold armlet or something. The I'll show you in a second um, if we can defeat this thing. I could have attacked with a combo, but I've just been attacking normally. All right, so we get some good XP, EXP uh, tech points. Okay, and I, I think I got a ton of tech points from doing the grinding, so I apologize. If there are new techs here that I haven't mentioned, I do apologize. I got Frenzy, Luminaire's close, uh, or not close, but somewhat. Ice Sword 2, um, I guess Lightning Rod, I think that might be new. Um, I really don't remember. I was kind of just speeding through to get the actual money to purchase the items. But again, like, oh, Golden Stud. That's what it's called. Golden Stud, an earring that grants great in intellect. Um, it should say it, right? Golden Stud. 
Well, basically, yeah, so it only 25% uh, MP costs. So it reduces the cost of MP attacks by 75%. It's really good. You guys recommended it, so I appreciate that. Um, let me go ahead and uh, see if we can get some healing going here. Uh, let's heal for Chrono. But yeah, so that's, like I said, because I spent all that time off-screen grinding and getting these new weapons purchased from the guy in the, the Earthbound area we're in now, I don't want to go off-screen and get even more weapons and stuff by backtracking. So I'll do that in a future episode. You're not getting through here! Oh, okay. Blue Mud Beast, Red Mud Beast. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go for... F oh, I can't go for Falcon Strike. Uh, I need to... Uh, Chrono, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go for Aerial Strike. And I'll move this to the bottom of the screen. Oh, so this guy's commanding them, okay. They're doing decent damage, not insane damage like Mages was, but, um, oh, 22? Okay. Oh, boy. They did not like that, alright, interesting. Um, Falcon Strike... Go, Falcon Strike! Falcon Strike! 700 to each of them? Wow, that was crazy. Alright, I need to heal here. There's one healing... There's a heal that I can do, right? That's... Yeah, Slurp Kiss heals all of us, so we'll just do that. Yeah, because we're already getting low on health. They're hitting us quite a bit. Slurp Kiss. Ooh, that's good healing. That's better than what I expected. Lightning 2... Okay, this guy just rides on the blue beast and the red beast. All right, 106, good damage. Lightning 2, let's get it! Woohoohoo! Okay, good damage, not bad, not bad. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Only 100 for both of them attacking, that seems odd. Um, let's go with Boulder Toss. And I'm gonna go with... Uh, we'll go with Aerial Strike. Let's do it. Why not? 357. Good damage. All right. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Frenzy on this one. So Frenzy's the one that attacks like five times or something like that. Wow. I'll take that. That's great damage. Um, slurp Kiss for everyone. And I will go with... I'll go with Lightning 2 again. Why not? Dude, I can't believe how much this heals. Wow. Is that a is that because of Ayla's magic or Frog's magic? I'm surprised it's healing 300 per. That's amazing. Considering we're all about 400 to 500 HP each. Like, that's really good. Um, and the opponents are only doing 70-something damage. 100 damage, so. Alright, so once we get... So let's go to combos and let's go with... Um, oh, she's asleep. Hold on. Let's wake her up. Uh, and then I will go with Slurp Slash. I should have gone for the blue, red beast, but I went for the blue one. Dang it. Or I went for the guy at the back. What's his name? Mud Imp? Okay, little boss fight here. Kind of cool. I like it. I like it. Okay. Uh, all right. So again, as I was saying, uh, lightning rod. I should have healed, uh, Ayla. 947? Oh my god, and that still didn't kill? Holy crap. Wow. Going for a mud bot. Okay, that's... Oh, wait, a yeah, Ayla needs some, uh, health. Yeah. Uh, heal. Oh, he can heal all of us. That's right. I forgot about that. Um, lightning 2. I forgot he could do that. Yeah, it's just not as strong as when it's... Oh, that's why it does... That's why that uh, slurp kiss that heals all of us does more. Because it's a combination of two people putting their magic together. That makes sense. Okay. I was like, how are they healing 300 plus health? That's really good, but surprising. All right, so I need to wake Ayla up. Uh, Panacea. No, no, no. <sighs> Panacea. All right, wake her up. 
Panacea. Healing 150. Wow, I'm actually surprised that this battle's uh this this difficult. I shouldn't say difficult, but it's surprising how uh how tough this has been. Wow. I'm actually taken back. I mean, hey, that's fine. I like a tough battle, so I'm good with that. Alright, so let's heal everyone up and then let's go on the offensive here. Uh, I'm gonna go cleave on this one. And then I wanna go with aerial strike on this one. And I'm gonna go around Dillo kick on this one. I wanna take one of these beasts out. I have to try. I'm not doing much damage to the guy at the back, the Mud Imp, so I've got to try and take out the, the big beast. I got to focus all my attention on one of them. That's I think that's the best way we're going to go about this. So um, I could also go to Lightning 2, but yeah, I think I have to do that to lower their attack. I feel like that's the best way to do it. All right, Lightning 2. We're going to hit all of them, and hopefully we can lower attack, which will be nice, so... Yeah, good damage. Okay, they're gonna hit us. That's fine. Now he's gonna go for aerial slash or aerial attack. 362, nice. Still haven't killed any of them. Wow, that is... Alright, let's go with Slurp Kiss again. Because Chrono's already down to 160. This guy gets hit all the time. They're always attacking him. I'm like, really? Alright. Just going after Chrono nonstop, huh? Wait, why did he hit his own monster? That's weird. Huh. Okay, that's odd. I, I wonder if I should just be going for... Maybe the Mud Imp... I'm confused why I'm not... Hmm, I'm trying to think of like... Maybe I have to attack... The Mud Imp to win this? Oh no, we finally killed one of them. Alright, that's gonna make this significantly easier. Okay, there we go. I want to kill the beast... That Okay, he's healing the beast and himself. That's fine. It's only 150. So I'm going to go for Bubble Burst, see how much this does. I don't know if because it's blue, it's like part water, so this will heal it. I don't... Okay, it doesn't. Okay, cool. I know it sounds silly, but like, I don't know. I'm trying to think through like how I could approach some of these things, but... Um, okay, so he throws the bomb and hits his buddy, his little blue mud beast. Okay. Combo. Let's go Falcon Strike. And let's go with Aerial Strike. Let's do it. Get him, Chrono. Get him. Get him, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Gonna heal again. That's fine. I mean, I do more than 150 with all my attacks, so you're really not healing much. I mean, you're just de delaying the inevitable. And now that there's only one Mud Beast, I don't have to worry too much about healing all the time. Like, I'm still going to heal, obviously, but, um, like, here, I'll do it now. But then after this, I probably won't have to heal for a while. Yeah, so 300 there, so we'll go Lightning 2. I think if I had put the counter on Chrono, this would have been a little bit of a quicker fight, but I decided to take that off, especially with the recommendation from you guys in the comment section saying to, like, try, uh, try to use it. Or try to use the, uh, new item to equip to Chrono. Not that the, uh, counterattack thing isn't good anymore, but, like, 75% reduction in, um, how much it costs for an, to use, uh, magic is crazy. To use a spell is insane. Yeah, so instead of a instead of a spell costing four MP, it's only going to cost one. That's absolutely insane. Um, Roundillo kick. Oh, we finally took it down. Okay, cool. Now is he going to stop attacking us or no? Or is he going to keep aerial strike? Roundillo kick. Is he only weak to magic? I just realized. Oh my gosh, have I been messing this up this whole? No, well. No, he definitely does take more damage to magic, because that's right, Lightning 2 was uh, doing a lot to him. Okay, but I just need to focus on magic, that's fine. I, I should have noticed that earlier, but honestly, I was so focused on taking out the beast, I didn't really think about that. So let's go with... Um, uh, hold on, where... 
Uh, I guess I can go Thunder Charm. Water. Because she's powered by lightning. This should do a ton. Okay, there we go. Perfect. It did a thousand. Wow, 1,030. That's amazing. All right, well, I should have done that earlier. <laughs> nice. Let's see how much this does. 104. Okay, it's better than physical attack. So normal physical attack, so... Okay, if I do another Thunder Chomp, I should be fine. Yeah, Chrono still got 41 MP because of his, uh, the item he has. That's insane. Alright, go ahead, Ayla. Finish this. He can't have that much HP. Well, he might, uh, it might take another one to beat it. Oh, no. no there we go. Cool. Good job, gang. Earned 954 experience, 26 tech points, 2600 Gs. Ayla's level increased. Nice. Okay. Uh, real quick, before we progress, uh, let's go ahead and heal, because the last thing I want to do is be in a, go into another fight right after this, and I'm just not prepared for it. All right. Um, do I want to use an ether? There's probably a save point, so I'll wait with the ether. Oh. What the heck? Okay, hold on. There is not a heal save point, so I'm going to use some ethers. To be fair... We did purchase them for these reasons. All right, we got 23 still. We got plenty of... Oh, we have a bunch of mid-ethers, too. I should have used those. Dang it. All right. So what's up here? I mean, I see an enemy right there. It's a rock, but like... Oh. Okay. All right, that's fine. Um, I'm going to go for... I'll wait for everyone else to... Okay, here we go. Lightning 2. I feel like that's going to hit hard. Um, 289's not bad. It's decent damage. I killed the birds. Okay. So now I have to kill these guys. Okay. Oh, they're easy. Unlike the mud imp that we fought earlier. So then is there a chance that I can just kill this thing with just physical attacks instead of the thunder chomp? Yeah, it does 240 damage. Okay. Weird. The last one had a lot of, uh, a lot of, um, uh, defense in terms of physical defense. Wow. Okay. Weird. Make sure we don't miss anything. Um, oh, there's an item. That's why I don't want to miss anything. Platinum Helm. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a nice upgrade. Uh, yep. I'm going to give that to you. Perfect. We gained about six. What was that? Six or four? Something like that. Something, some good increase in defense. We'll take it. Um, okay, so how do I get across? Oh, it was this way. Okay, cool. So we go this way. Okay, yep. Come and get us. Come at us. We got this. Roundillo kick. You guys are doing way less than your, uh, your mud imp that we saw earlier, which is really nice. Makes life for us easy. And these are stone imps, so these are different. They're not mud imps. That's interesting. Huh. Interesting, because I would think stone would be... Well, no, I guess technically mud could be super defensive to physical attacks. Chrono's level increased. Ayla learned charm, which I heard is really good for helping to steal items from the comment section for what you guys said. So, cool. Good, good, good. Uh, let me see. What's over this way? There's an enemy there. I'm looking for items. Nope, I found more enemies. Oh, we got these gold bats, gargoyles. Okay, nice. Uh, let's go with, let's just attack, 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 screw it. 512 damage? Wait a minute, hold on. Whoa. Okay, but they're easy to kill. Wow, that was, that was surprising. Um, okay, well, let me heal. Wow, I did not see that coming. Um, let me also heal with this, too. I should have just done this in the beginning, but... Uh, heal. Heal. All right, cool. We're good. All right. That was not what I expected at all, but okay. Wow. And there's a save point. Perfect. You know what? I'm going to use the shelter. 
There we go, get that MP back. Now the problem is I didn't check over the other side to see what's there. Um, I think, if I go down here, am I gonna have to fight? Okay, not yet. But I fought them already, so I can just come this way. I don't wanna miss any items. Oh, there's literally nothing. Uh, huh. Okay, it's literally nothing there. Uh, there are those rocks I could battle, but eh, it's fine. I'm good. All right, so we healed. Let's head up this way. I'm assuming... Oh, I looked like a battlefield, but I guess not. Uh, there's an item up here. Okay, another battle with these guys, which are absolutely terrifying because uh, they hit really hard, apparently. I need you guys to die. Okay, so they're really weak, but if they hit you, they will take you down to like one HP. Frog's level increased, very nice frog, good job. Barrier Sphere, I did notice that in the item section, in battle, I could use an item, um, so that's cool. So good to know that that's when I should use the Barrier Sphere, because um, I have not received any comments on how to use that, but I'm also assuming that if there's no comments on something, it most likely means that it's just not useful or not useful enough to be mentioned in a comment, so it's all good. All right, these guys again. I'm just gonna straight up attack, 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 attack. Let's get him, guys, let's get him. Now I'm trying to, uh, oh, by the way, also another thing I need to mention. I did read, so I read all the comments, just so you guys know, and I'm not upset with you guys putting tons of comments. It's really awesome to see all the comments, the feedback, the advice, just telling me what you guys think of the series, which has all been super positive, so thank you for that. Um, so uh, I know there was a couple people that were like, hey, I'm sorry if the comments are being too much. Trust me, they're not. I love the comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I do want to say I did read uh, in the comment section about how that book that opened up, it was like shooting water. Apparently there's like some puzzle I can figure out by reading all the books in that area. Um, there's also some other stuff I missed. Oh, we got a lapis. Okay, nice. Lapis. I don't know how you pronounce it, but I'm going to assume it's that. Um, so yeah, so thank you guys for those comments. I will backtrack and do some of that stuff. When I will do it, I don't know. Um, it's kind of the same thing with the seals. I do want to go do them. I just don't know when that will be. Um, so we'll see. It's, it's just kind of like whenever I feel like it's a good timing to do it. Um, but don't take it the wrong way. If, if I haven't done something that you've asked in the comments, don't take it as if I don't want to do it. It's just timing of when I would like to go do it. So, um, we will backtrack and go do these things. Dude, we're getting some really good tech points. Um, I do want to change up my party, I think, either the end of this episode or the next episode. Um, just to get other people some tech points and some good experience. Because Frog, Chrono, and Ayla have a lot. Um, but that's okay. It's fine. It's not a bad thing, just, you know. All right, so Bomber Birds will take you out. You'll drop your stone things. I can't remember what they're called. Stone Imp, there we go. That makes sense, because you are an Imp. We get a crit 394 from Frog. Very cool. 243, nice. That doesn't take out the uh, last Imp, but okay. Fine, sure. All right, here we go. Take it out. Come on, Ayla. You got this. Let's go. Let's go. Good experience. Wow. Good money. Ayla's level increased as well. So where are we at with levels now? 31, 29, 30, 30, 28, 29. Okay, gotcha. Cool, cool, cool. I'm very happy with this. Right now, I don't feel over-leveled. I don't feel under-leveled. I feel just right on par, which is good. Um. Okay, so there's nothing... Oh, there's a chain here. Okay. So we go this way. I actually really like this exploration... Like, the chains, you climb on them to get to the other, um, islands. That's... I, I like it. Alright, Lightning 2, take these guys out. Save the MP for Frog and Ayla. Alright, here we go. Cool, cool, cool. There are one-shots, good experience, more tech. Water 2 for Frog, heck yes. That is awesome. Uh, little barriers... Another barrier sphere, really? Surprised about getting... You know what? I have a theory about these things. I'm going to test it. Oh. Okay, I have a feeling that when you beat them, there's like a hidden item or something. Wait, disables text and item commands? Oh, God. Should I not have done this? Oh, no. 
Okay. I feel like there's a reason they're here. They're not fighting me. So I think there's something... Why am I missing so much? Okay. Yeah, I can't use... I can't use Texer combo, so I just have to attack and hope I land. We did land. Okay, we got lucky there. Nice. So why are they there? 100 tech points? Oh my god. Chrono's level increased. Wait a minute. They give 100 tech points? That's why they're here. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I need to go fight these things. 100 tech points. You know what? I think now that I see have seen that, I remember someone mentioning in the comments that there is an enemy coming up that gives good uh it is a good opportunity for grinding. Now, they didn't specify everything exactly from what I remember, but wow, if this is what they were talking about, that's insane. I want to go fight them really quick to go get more tech points because that is amazing. 100 tech points from one enemy. I mean, granted, it's it's risky to... Ah, shoot. Okay. Lightning 2. Attack, attack. So I'm going to have to go back, unfortunately, and do this again. But that's crazy. 100 tech points. 100 tech points is nuts. Actually, you know what I might do? I may not go back and battle all of them. I know I'm already on the way to go back. But I kind of think that it would just be better if I just do that... I, I'm assuming I'm going to come back down the mountain, or maybe I won't. But I could also just come back here for grinding at some point. Wow, 100 tech points? That's insane. Frog's level increase? Nice. Uh, yeah, now that I think about it, let's just progress to... Let's just progress the story. We will come back and fight them again. 100 tech points is nuts. Holy crap. Alright, let's go. So it was through here, and then we went through here. Oh, not there. And then we went this way. We climbed down here and we fought the 100 tech point thing there. Dude, that's crazy. I'm so glad I fought it. At least one of them. Like, I'm glad I at least checked. Uh, item? Lapis again? Ooh, what are these things? Hold on. Uh, let's see. Heals. Everyone is basically healed? Not really. Ah, we'll just heal anyway. Screw it. Let's be safe. All right. Here we go. Are we... No? Oh. What? Oh, there we go. Okay, we're fighting him now. I was like, what? Lightning 2. I'm gonna go for Water 2. And I'll attack. Doing no damage. Oh, I'm confused. Oh, boy. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, boy. Does that... Well, okay, Frog at least isn't gonna hit. Okay, that's good. 225, 220-something, okay. 252. All right, so they're easy to kill, thankfully. Okay. Uh, Chrono, I need you to wake up, bud. Oh, boy. Please snap out. Please snap out of confusion. 514 should kill, yep. Oh, boy, that's not good. Please don't confuse. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm going to heal the confusion on you, Chrono. Okay, he's missing. That's fine. Good crit. 512. Nice. They're almost defeated. Come on. Finish this. There we go. Okay, we're safe. All right, good. Wow. Good experience. Good gold. That's awesome. I think at this point, I've just kind of made it a meme to say Gil, Gold, Gil, Gold, just back and forth, just to literally troll. <laughs> I just, I kind of love it. I kind of hope someone like Soul is watching and it's just like, ugh, British, stop saying Gold, it's Gil, or stop saying Gil, it's Gold. I just, I, at this point, I'm just doing it for fun. All right, so, Chrono, let's do the same thing. Combo, Lightning 2, Kill them all. I'm so happy that Frog has water, too. That is so good. What I'll probably do is, because I haven't used Robo, Marley, and Luca in a while, I'll probably off-screen do a tiny bit of grinding with them, so that that way they can get quickly, uh, they can get caught up quickly with tech points. 
Um, because I'll probably beat, like, three or four of those rocks, and then they'll easily get caught back up. So, um, health is good. Yep, let's keep going. I don't know what to expect up here. I'm, I'm curious to see what this is leading to. Are we going to a boss fight? Is there a group of enemies? Oh, here we go. Is there a group of enemies we need to fight that will do something to the story? I don't know. I'm, I'm very curious, but... All right, here we go. Let's attack, attack, attack. I hope we land. Miss, miss. Oh, why did I not attack with frog? That was weird. Interesting that this thing hasn't attacked us. And interesting that we miss so often. Ooh, good damage. Nice. There we go. We get those tech points. 1,000 XP, 100 tech points, a mid-ether, Ayla's level increased. Oh my gosh, that's insane. That's so good. It's kind of it's kind of broken, honestly. That's kind of insane, but I'll take it. Not upset. All right. Ooh, what are you protecting down here, huh? No, stop confusing us. Please don't get Chrono. Please don't. Okay, he didn't go for Chrono. That's fine. Lightning 2, we can take out all these enemies, or most of them. I'm mostly worried about the gargoyles because they did that one attack to get Ayla down to like one HP, so. Alright, Ayla, kill that thing. Yep. Alright, let's just quickly get rid of the rest of them. Nope, don't. Okay, it only does 102. That's not bad. I thought he was going to crit and get like 400 or 500. Alright. Good experience, good tech points, good gold, gill. Ooh, multiple items. Shelter, I'll take it. And shield spear. What is a shield spear? Let me sort my items. So Ambrosia restores, I don't know, we have no idea. Lapis restores 200 HP to all party members, that's good. Reduces physical damage by one third. And then this one reduces magical damage by one third as well. So we need to start using barrier spear against uh, bosses that use um, uh, magical attacks. So strength capsule, chrono, we'll go ahead and give that to you and frog. And then Magic Capsule, I will give that to Chrono, because apparently he's got some insane, insane stuff later on. Also, we're back up to 20,000 gold, so I I love that. That is that is awesome. We're getting our cash money. Actually, if I put the wallet on against those 100 tech point enemies, I'd not only get really good experience, but I'd also get the tech points too. So, pretty nice. Something to think about. I'm also surprised that it's taking us 30 plus minutes to get through this, just this area alone. This area doesn't seem that big when you first get here, but you're like, uh, okay, I guess it is. Uh-oh. There is a save point here. Okay, um, that is telling me that something's happening up above. We are gonna go ahead and use a shelter. Um, so what I'm gonna do is this. I think I'm gonna, do I stop here and leave you guys on a cliffhanger? Yeah, screw it. We're going to leave it on a cliffhanger. I have no idea what's coming up next, but the save point tells me a boss fight's coming. So, guys, in the next episode, we will continue right here where we've left off. Thank you guys so much for your support. As always, continue to spread those positive vibes. I will catch you guys in the next episode, but until next time, I'm out. Peace.